facility proceedings. Yes. Okay. Are you ready to go? Uh, can you see it there on your screen? Yes, you're sharing the screen. Yes, go ahead. Okay, let me play it. I, hopefully the sound will come through. Do this. I'm sorry for uh, putting this out so fast. Uh, I accidentally tore something up and had to rebuild it. But anyway, this is a later topic. I want to go through what's connected right now uh, to the load. Uh, as you can see, this is a some of you call it a panini, I call it a grilled cheese toaster. And uh, the lights on, it's 800 watts. I got a 1500 watt fan forced heater here. We're fixing to crank it up. As you can see, the lights on, heat's coming out nice and hot. I got a dorm refrigerator right here. Right there, you can see it's coming in. Plugging into the same strips, battery power, <clears throat> mag grab capacitors, another refrigerator. Uh, a standard fridge that we're fixing to. There we go, and just so you can hear, it's working. Uh, it, it, I use it for a vacuum to uh, vacuum out uh, refrigerant at automobiles. I made that myself, so anyway. Uh, and uh, we, my little off-grid system here that runs off 12 or six volt or 12 volt system. In this particular case, I've got a six volt system running up to it. Uh, you can see the fluorescence come on. Yeah, 100 and, we're at 103.67 fluctuating. You can see the strip here. Um, sorry, this is really fast. This is basically what we've got up here on the board. Heater with the fan at 1500 watts. Grilled cheese toaster 800 watts. Uh, three 18 uh, watt CFL spiral bulbs, 54 watts. Dorm refrigerator, 500 watts on the start, 70 watts on the run cycle. A standard refrigerator compressor, 700 watts on the start. 85 watts on the run cycle total wattage consumption on the start 3554 on wattage on the run cycle will be 2509 now I just added a 30 watt uh, glue gun on here too uh, because uh, I had some uh, something that needed to be uh, secured down there and moving around on me so anyway that increased that up to mm, 35 39 or 2539 and uh, 3584 on the uh, start on the run we're running right now 2509 we got a hundred and four point three volts shooting out uh, we'll get the uh, thermal indicator here bear with me just a second we'll take some temperature readings all right we are in fahrenheit range it is hot in here because i have the heater going and we can see the capacitors are reading about 91, 80, 89 to 91 degrees. The MagGrav center coil is 91 degrees. Top coil, 110, 111, 108. So let's say 110. Bottom coil, nice. 90, 89. And the wires coming off here alligator clips 82 degrees this being the main load wire here going back out only 91 92 degrees uh, and just so y'all know that the toaster's working yeah <laughs> quite warm there it is 300 and, and uh, so uh, and uh, so the heater's working too let me uh, get that off of uh, is it on hold? Okay, here we go. Scan. Let's scan the elements there. And as you can, well, let me get on them. It's kind of hard for me to move around. Me moving around. It's kind of hard to get on those coils like that. <laughs> but you can see there's 250 degrees coming out of the coils there. Uh, nothing's heating up. No, as you can see, no, no wires. Uh, melting uh, and everything is uh, uh, normal. We got a voltage right here at the base of the CFL at 89, 87 degrees. You can hear my little motor chumming in the background there. Uh, and voltage consumption is down to 97, 98, uh, 98 volts uh, is uh, what it's actually pushing out right now with this particular load on it. 
Uh, I do have quite the load on this little bitty system. But I wanted to show you, there's no hidden wires. There's my outlet right there. There's nothing plugged into it. Uh, this is self-sufficient. And uh, I'm so sorry for the short video. I'll try to do a little bit better job and, and get more information out to you uh, as soon as possible. Uh, peace and God bless each and every one of you.